my hair. It's looking good, man. So I'd like to start off this video just by saying I'm officially caught up on YouTube. Anybody watching on YouTube is now in the, at the same point as Facebook. I'll be uploading this video on both platforms. Everybody's on the same page. Finally. That has been kind of a pain in the butt. But we are... We're all one big happy family again, so, you know. We got that going for us. Okay, I'm on my phone. I haven't put out a video in a month. And there is actually a reason, because I was working the other day in the shop, and the uh, camera that I usually use was working fine. Had it set up, decided to switch angles. Stopped recording, didn't even turn the camera off. Brought it over to the other spot, went to hit record, button wouldn't work. None of the buttons worked. Whole camera quit, just, it was on, and I could take pictures, but record didn't work, um, menu, the touch screen, nothing works. So, I looked it up on Google, Googled it everywhere I could find, everywhere that mentioned that camera, no fix for it. So, I haven't been able to record anything, and I kind of was debating. Those cameras are expensive, and I don't like recording with this thing, it doesn't work very well. So, I just bought a new camera, but I don't have it yet. So, what you're going to see now is the last few weeks that I did record, and it's pretty much just a char machine, because that's all I've been able to do. It's been pretty cold, so we'll just get to the video. Anyway, new camera coming. It's the next model above the one I just had, or after the one I just had. I don't know how those work, but it should be fairly fairly straightforward, fairly the same thing, but new. So here we go. I'd like to introduce you to the kiln. This is actually the the furnace, the, the kiln itself where the magic's gonna happen on the biochar machine. I just had to go cut it by uh, firelight and it was a pain. Also, I can't find the pendant for the, crane, the, for the crane, so I can't run it. And that sucks. I bought these snazzy rings, if you can see those. Let's see there. Could have fabricated them, but didn't want to spend the time. So one thing that you got to do is find the center of the pipe so that you can line the bowl holes up. And this, in this case, it's not really that important, but just practice doing it right, right? This is what's called a center head. And then you got the bubble in there. So when you put this like so, lock it all down. You adjust it back and forth until the bubble up here is centered. When you're there, the center of the ruler here, that's in the middle of this V, is the top of the pipe. So we mark it right there. We do the same thing on the other end. That's the, that's the key, you gotta do it before you move it. And I would recommend turning them both the same way. So that it's exactly the same. Now we gotta do 
we could snap a line across the top of this and have the have the dead center. It's a handy little trick. Yeah, I'll take it. I also built this. I got the flange all done up and that's that piece inside that I cut the other night. And my welds were a lot better than I would have expected. I got some dimples here and there, but you know what, I'll take them. I don't weld that good usually. So it's a shame these are gonna be covered up, but I'm not gonna grind them off. I may, I gotta get it flat on here. I gotta grind these off because the, this has to be gasketed to seal up. I don't have this welded either yet. It's just, it's just sitting on there. I'm trying to debate whether I'll be able to get my hands in here to bolt these up or if I'm gonna have to weld nuts on before I put this on. But I need to get that started so that I can weld a little bit, let it cool down as I'm doing other stuff. Just keep jumping back and forth. I worked here the other night. Got this built and installed in one night. I gotta drill the holes in it still. I'm actually getting close to finishing this chamber. We gotta pull the gases off this thing. So originally the plan was to come out of these holes out of there is no hole here, but you can see I could have room to drill a hole. I was gonna put a big pipe, maybe a two inch on each side to suck that air out, the gases. But the problem with that is, is it would allow those gases to get right here, which is gonna access up into the upper conveyors. There's a dump valve to help seal it off, but I'm afraid I was gonna, I was afraid I was gonna lose too much, too much of the fumes, too many of the fumes, too much. I don't know if that's plural or not, but. I was going to lose too many up into the upper conveyors. So instead, I decided to drill holes here. I'm going to do four three-quarter inch ports on the top of this pipe. Hopefully the gas finds its way up into this pipe before it finds its way into that chamber. Some is going to get in there no matter what. But I got a threadlet, little little nipple, and a three-quarter by one elbow. It's going to sit just like that. Then on this one, I'll have a T instead of an elbow. And this one and this one, and there'll be a header across the top of all these, connecting them all together. Then it's gonna come out off the side of the conveyor, off the side of the chamber, sorry, down through the bottom of the cabinet and come back up underneath in the burners. That's the, that's the idea. baby. That's the header. That's where I had it marked out. This elbow has to go right here. Clear this. That's probably good. Gas pipes welded on. Dropouts cut, and let's cut. So what we're gonna do now is a test run. For the first time, I'm gonna put that pipe in this chamber, see how it fits, see how square everything is. Test run. <laughs> 